Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another three box break of Fanatics Under Wraps Autograph Baseballs 2.0. This is random player break number 25. One spot gets you 9x players on this list right here or that any and all multi-sign autograph spot. Very big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's nine tuple you up. There's one already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nan nan tuple? It's not nine nine tuple. Double, triple, quadruple, quintuple. Sextuple and then septuple, octuple, not, not. Someone in the chat will let me know. All right, so we got the correct amount of uh, spots there. Let's gather all of your names, put them into one list here, and then grab the other list of names. And let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a four, seven times for names and players. And we'll put them into this list, or uh, that sheet right there. Three and a four, seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. We got Franklin all the way down to Steve H. Three and a four, seven times for the players. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seventh and final time. After seven, we got Goldie down to Daniel Murphy. All right, so as you know, we're just going to show you the list as is. Just want to get it on the recording. And then we'll... Uh, Alphabetized by your first name so you can see all of your players grouped together. We'll pause for a little bit of a trade window. We'll see what happens. There you go, Steve, with the any and all multi sign autograph spot. All right, and there's the rest right there. All right, now let's alphabetize by your first names. All right, so Aaron, there are your players right there. Ed P, your group of players over here, and some more right there. Franklin, got your players here, some more, and the rest. There you go, nice. Jason K, there are your players. John, Josh with Last Spot Mojo, Steve H. There's a bunch of players here. There's one group. Here's another group. And you know, multi autograph baseballs. Nice. You might have the rest from here on out. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. We're going to pause the video when we come back. We're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. Hi. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so. Let's pop open these boxes. Let's see who's inside. Get your thinking caps on. We'll play a little bit of Who Am I? I'll give you some clues. And uh, you try to guess who the player is inside. Unless it's a multi-auto, then I'll just say it's a multi. All right. Um, 30 year old outfielder from Cheyenne, Wyoming. I'm one of those bat left, throw right kind of dudes. 
Uh, lifetime 269, batting average 63 home runs, 213 runs batted, and played for one team my entire career. And was the uh, and was the NL triples leader last year. And I thought this other guy was the NL triples leader. Were they tied? Maybe they're tied for. I didn't realize they were tied for triples. Well, I tied Gavin Lux for triples last year. Wait, these other guys had. Oh, okay, okay. I, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, he did. There were one, two, three, four players with seven triples last year. Stephen Kwan in the AL had seven. Jorge Mateo for Baltimore had seven. Gavin Lux for the NL had seven. And he shared it with this player here, with also with seven. The league leader in triples was Ahmed Rosario for Cleveland. So Cleveland had the top two. They had 16 triples between Ahmed Rosario and Stephen Kwan. That's a lot. I mean, if you got like three or four triples in a year, I mean, that's pretty amazing. Who am I? I was born in Cheyenne, Wyoming. I was a former first-round draft pick in the 2011 draft. Made my debut with them in 2016. Yeah, he had a pretty good 2022. Uh, hit slashed uh, 247, 367, 433, 16 home runs and 64 RBIs in 151 games. He was rewarded with a eight-year, $162 million contract to remain with the Mets. Who am I? There you go. Tony's got it. It is indeed Brandon Nemo. Brandon Finding Nemo. There you got the Fanatics and MLB hologram sticker. There's his autograph. Nice official baseball. There you go. Brandon Nemo. Oh, and uh, yeah, we got... We got in the Twitch stream right here, we got B Chords. Also getting it, getting Brandon Nemo. Nice. That's going to go to Steve Herrick. Got randomized the Brandon Nemo spot. Got him on my fantasy team. Like as a kind of a good utility spot guy. Third or fourth outfielder kind of guy. Maybe with a little upside. Especially if you're lucky enough to get a little extra power than usual out of him. We'll take it. We got a retired pitcher. A retired starting pitcher. It's currently 42 years old from Vallejo, California, a lefty. Played for three teams my entire career. Ended up with some nice numbers. 251, 251 wins to 161 losses. A 374 ERA. And crested the 3,000 strikeout mark. 3,093 strikeouts. Six-time All-Star, World Series champion, AL Cy Young Award winner, ALCS MVP, two-time MMB wins leader. Is he a... I don't know if he's a... Is he a first ballot Hall of Famer? Is he a first ballot Hall of Famer? There you go. Jags got it. CC Sabathia. Nice. That's another one for Steve Herrick, by the way. There you go, Steve.
Got both the stickers right there. Nice, CC. Uh, another C, Clayton Kershaw, I think, is he's 190 some odd strikeouts away from from uh, from hitting 3,000. I don't know. Well, he's got to stay healthy. When healthy, he pitches well, but. Look at his baseball reference really quick. He got a, he hit about 137 strikeouts. Last time he got 190 strikeouts or close to it was back in 2019, 189 strikeouts. And then before that, uh, 202 strikeouts. That's where he finished second in Cy Young voting. That was back in 2017. Might need one more season to get there. season and the next probably get it all right who do we have here This is it. This is it. Retired baseball. He's still with us, ladies and gentlemen. He's still still, uh, still with us. He bat left, throws right. A left fielder, old school left fielder. He's currently 84 years old. Born in Whistler, Alabama. Finished his career with a 290 batting average. 2,711 hits. 426 home runs. 1,475 runs batted. And played for two teams my entire career. Mostly with my first team. Uh, played two years with the A's at the end of my career. Six-time All-Star, NL Rookie of the Year. There's a Rookie of the Year inscription right here. Was an NL batting champion. Uh, was the Cubs uh, number 26 retired. That was fast, Tony. How'd you get that? I thought I'd have to give you the team and everything. A six-bout Hall of Famer with 85.71% of the vote. What gave it away? Maybe the 426 home runs. That's a decent amount of home runs. It is indeed Billy Williams. Ah, Whistler. Man, good, good call. The Whistler of Alabama gave it away. There it is. Billy Williams, 1960 Rookie of the Year. Yeah, pretty good player. He's in the Cubs Hall of Fame. Cubs number 26 retired. Six ballot Hall of Famer, still with us. What did he do? Anything crazy after his career? Later years? Baseball Hall of Fame, blah blah blah. All century team. I don't know. I think he just he just enjoyed retirement. Doesn't really not too much on the Wikipedia page, but still really cool. Billy Williams. That's gonna be for Franklin. Franklin with the Billy Williams. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time. Do we have all the stickers here too? Yeah, the Fanatic sticker, the MLB hologram sticker. The MLB hologram sticker, by the way, will uh, you can punch up the numbers there on MLB.com slash authenticate. If you punch in the letters and numbers, should be able to tell you when exactly that baseball was signed. That should give you some additional information at least. There you go, Franklin. There you go, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.